Are we on? Good evening, everybody. If you're flipping through your YouTube or surfing your Facebook or perusing your Instagram, you have landed on House of Worship, an evening of prayer and worship and talk and just plain visiting with Marty and Jenny Getz, Jewish believers in Tennessee, on December 31st, the last day of this year, 2022. And so we're gonna start. We have a special evening. Actually, I can't say planned because we haven't really planned as much as we've just prepared ourselves to be here. <laughs> And we've also, we're also kind of like tonight, we're like ESPN. We have football scores for you and everything. <laughs> but that's kind of cool. A, a, a team with the name Christian in the title. Te Texas Christian just beat Michigan. Wow, that's amazing. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're not here to talk about sports, but we can if you'd like to. But we're here to sing, and I'm going to have my wife, as soon as she comes in, join me as what on what's become kind of a theme song for us a song written by dan marks a worship leader for calvary chapel who wrote this beautiful beautiful song and lord we thank you for this privilege of worshiping you in a free nation with friends and loved ones and knowing that you are our god so lord we have come to this house where we love to sing your praises and we lift our hearts and our hands to the king of all the ages hear us lord we pray come yeshua come come fill this place meet us here Meet us here, Lord. We are few, but we are strong when you surround us. Meet us here. Meet us here, Lord. As we gather in your name, meet us it's a little different usually when Jenny and I sing we are few but we are strong it's just it's, <laughs> it's just, just the two of it's us. just the two of us and it's really good that people call us every once in a while because otherwise we'd probably be just the two of us in our house it's but like we're with you <laughs> and if they kept calling us we wouldn't be with you so but Their we, calls are few and far between, and we, but we're with you. We so look forward to our time with you. But tonight's a little different. We have actually more than a few. We have some friends here for New Year's. We have Misha and Josh and their children. We have Nick and Celia Van Marth, who we've known. Marty sang at their wedding. What year were you married? In 1985 from California. My friend Andrea Hunter is here. She was one of the very first believers I ever met back in 1979, and she's been my friend ever since. And of course, we have Mary and Paul Van Hosen, who are our dear friends here in Nashville, Tennessee. So we are so thrilled to be with you all, and we hope that you're gathered with people you love. And if, and if you're by yourself, we love you. And so you're with us, so you are with people you love. And so we've told our friends, please sing. This is a worship night. And uh, so if you hear other voices, you're not hearing things that they're singing. And you all sing with us. And we're going to start one more time, shall we? Lord, we have come to this house where we love to sing your praises. We lift our hearts and our hands to the king of all the ages hear us lord we pray come yeshua come come fill this place would sammy like to come here meet us here meet us here lord we are few but we are strong Surround us, meet us here, meet us here, 
anybody once uh, criticized us for celebrating New Year's? Hey, we're all so grateful to have made it through one year into the next, and so we celebrate. We celebrate God who kept us, saved us, strengthened us, gave us health, saved our lives in this last year. So we celebrate you, Lord. That's all we do, celebrate you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sing something that we've sung a million times, but since we got the kids here, thought maybe they'd like to pick up a tambourine and play with us. So I'm going to sing, lead, lead you in the chorus. It's from Psalm number eight. We just sang it last week, but hopefully, hopefully you won't mind we sing it again. I'm going to start with a little bit of Hebrew. And uh, this is from Psalm number, Psalm number eight. And we're going to sing it together, all right? This is Caleb Vincent Hoyt. Can you see him? Move over a little bit more. Adonai, 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 Nu. Ma'adir shimcha b'chol ha'aretz. Adonai, 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 Nu. Asher t'nahodcha al Your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? Here you go, man. Yoda, Yoda's playing with him, and all I can say is, play well he does, play well he does, <laughs> play tambourine he does. Lord, we know that our accuser, he stills with the praises of singers, we infants and babes, whom he's ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him? <laughs> and the son of man that you visit him and her and them and all y'all, oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth, oh Lord. Oh Lord, how excellent 
Caleb, do you want to sing a song real quickly? Yeah. Because no, when we mind. started, by the way, um, oh, then he can stay yeah. here. Well, he can Caleb's going to sing. Okay. Well, Caleb's going to sing. When we started House of Worship, it was when COVID happened. You remember that. And um, it was a horrible time for so many people. And we are always very aware of how much it costs so many folks and are still is still costing them. And maybe you... It was a devastating time in the nation, in the world. But it was also a time that Jenny's going to share a little bit about, which she had some thoughts on it later on. But what for us, it gave us an opportunity to sit here at this Pi Annie and to just start singing. And Misha was here, Josh was here, and, we, and Caleb was here. And we said, you know what, let's just set up our phone and sing some songs. And some of all y'all were out there and we're listening and here we are how many more how many later two years two two hundred three years how many Since March okay so anyway right from the beginning caleb who was a little bit littler then was making songs like just singing in the spirit songs that were coming to him so do you have a song for us and you why don't you sing? let's i'll tell you what this is the song that he played the first time he sang that 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 was a real song not not one that he had not not an original song but a song that had already been sung by another person and that person was steve green and uh caleb did such a beautiful job with that song i think it's a perfect song to go into 2023 singing because it's from psalm 56 and we're going to sing it. And tell me if you think this is a good thought to go into the new year singing. I think it is. So why don't you lead us, Caleb? That means yes. Okay, that was yes. This okay. means no. Okay, that when was... When I put it down, that means no. Okay, that's good. That means no in party favor. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ready? Are we ready? Two, three, and... When I am afraid... Trust in you, I will trust in you, I will trust in you. When I am afraid, I will trust in you, in God who's got rain. I didn't get left. When I am, go when I am, when I am original song you want to just start singing a song okay uh, before that original song i'm gonna sing happy birthday to 2022 turning 2023 <laughs> okay you want to sing happy birthday to 2023 let's yeah. all do it let's all do it okay one two three Okay, now 
now an original song. Here we go. You start. I'll, fo I'll follow you. Okay. Okay. Got to get right to it because people are watching. What's the song about? It was 2022. Now it's 2020. Start. Start. Okay. Start. It was 2022. Now it's 2023. When it turns 23, I have a resolution. Resolution will be eat a one sweet a day. One nap a week. One nap a weekend. Every day I'll have a good day. joyous song my house is not necessarily feeling that jovial some of us have gone through a lot of stuff sometimes we think these are periled times we live in there's trouble everywhere and our weary hearts they often give in <laughs> to this world's despair but high and over all our Father knows our every care And in his book, if you will look You'll find his promises there Ladies and gentlemen, Misha Genshoi <laughs> He who trusts in the Lord She who trusts in the Lord Mercy shall surround him Mercy shall surround him He who trusts in the Lord Mercy shall surround him. Mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. You are bright in heart. Lift and up your voice, for great is his mercy toward all the trust in the Lord. Just moving this up. Grace 
both friend and stranger. He's reaching out to one and all who upon his name will call. For he who trusts in the In the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. You upright in heart, lift up your voice, for great is his mercy toward all the trust in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. trust in the Lord. Mercy is his reward for all who trust, for the pure and just who put their trust in the Lord. thinking about this song just the other day. I hope I play it correctly. I haven't played it for a long time. But Misha wrote this song. I helped her with it. No, we wrote it together. Okay, well, whatever. But I have a... I, I'm just going to speak openly this week, uh, this tonight, about what's ahead of us. I, I really think you can, you can watch this year to see... What, honey? Oh, nothing. Oh, good. What? Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, okay, we're being, our, our floor director, Jennifer, is, is. Good, good, good. Honey, Directing us. Honey, do you need to change the camera? No, it's good. No, it's good. I just moved, I just moved this one over a little. All right. But anyway, one thing that's been lost for many, 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 many years to many, many people is that. When you come into faith in the God of Israel through Yeshua, through Jesus, you become part of a covenant people with God, a covenant that began way, way back in time with Abraham, or Avram, as he was known then, became Abraham. And we all as believers are sons and daughters of Abraham, but sometimes people are so happy about that they forget that God is still fulfilling his promises to his people, Israel. And so this song is a beautiful reminder that in the days when uh, Israel represented God on the earth exclusively almost, when you came to faith in Yeshua, or in the God of Israel, you had to become part of Israel to be part of their covenant. But glory, hallelujah, the Lord has opened that covenant up to everyone through his blood and his body. But still, this song reminds us that a humble woman from Mo Moab, it's called in Hebrew, Moab, wanted so much to be part of God's family. Well, that she said words that are reflected in this song. So I hope I play it right. If I don't, Misha will keep singing. <laughs> and that's it. That's how it works around here. <laughs> so see if you remember these words from our heroine of this song. All my life I have wondered, wondered where I might Without a people, without
sing a song together. Yeah.
the soul of man. You are the one that we praise. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace. Our hearts always hunger. She was perfect, so and continues to be a blessing, <laughs> honey. Yes, dear. That's all really good. I love that you shared. That. <laughs> I do. But why don't we girls pray for us for this night? Because people have tuned in. Because it's New Year's Eve, and you know it's not a biblical holiday. No. It's not even the New Year. The New Year is the beginning <laughs> of the year. Is Passover, the month of Nisan, according to God's calendar. But we're in this country, we're on the Gregorian calendar, and the page is turned, and we are about to have another revolution, as my son in law Joshua likes to say, another revolution around the sun. And that's what we're celebrating tonight. But most of all, we're celebrating faith in our Lord, friendship with our friends, faithfulness of God. Faith. Faith. In God. Yes. Because we're going to need yeah. a lot of that in, so, the, in, the, in the time ahead. And why don't you just so go Marty ahead. and I were talking the other night. Oh, this and, is good. And at, in 2019, we did a concert in, it was probably our 30th concert in Phoenix, Arizona for a New Year's wow. Eve. And it was our 30th. We did them for years. And, and we were all looking forward to 2020. And yeah. I remember Marty said, 2020, perfect vision in 2020. No, I said, I say said, vision aplenty in vision 2020. Vision Come on, get it right. Vision aplenty in 2020. And we all thought that that was meant um, like a great year Yeah, ahead. we thought it was going to be a, like year, a, of a year of revelation. A year of revelation. Great things. And it was the year of COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everything shut down. But what I was telling him the other night was actually... It was 2020. God gave us all 2020 vision in 2020 because now we're seeing what was going on, mm -hmm. what's been going on. Sorry to get it like that, but I am. But our eyes are open to see eyes are open. what is going on in this country and in this world. And it is our job as believers to stand in the gap and to pray that that whatever this agenda is that's going on would be stopped in its tracks. And that's what we pray. That's what I pray, Lord. I pray for, for the future and going forward, God, that you would give us all the courage and the voice to speak what we see and hear in truth according to your word, according to your word, God, because there's a lot of stuff going on that's not according to your word, even in the church. But we stand according to your word in the church right now and here, and we declare it and decree it as what's his name says? 
Who's that guy you're listening Dutch to? Dutch Sheets. Dutch Sheets, as we declare and decree. But for, for, for going forward, 2023. Oh, it rhymes. Declare and decree in 2023. Declare and decree in 2023. Oh, my, that's his new coffee mug. I'm, I'm calling it into being right now. Have you come up with one? God bless you all. Wait. And with that. No, no. I want you to stay here. Stay here. We're going to sing a song because it, it's kind of a, a little bit of a nostalgia piece. And stay here, we're gonna finish our song from a place called The Hiding Place. Our friends Nick and Celia remember The Hiding Place, so does Andrea. And there was a guy named Brian who wrote, Brian this, fa- wrote this fabulous song. And I think it applies to what Jenny was just trying to say. No, no, I was not trying to say it. I said it, I said it. <laughs> Touché. Touché. My eyes are open and now I can see all that the Lord has done. He is the source of such marvelous things, shines brighter than the sun. I will lift my voice and sing. Hallelujah to Do you remember the this? King, the King of Kings. We're back in Westwood, in Los Angeles. <laughs> Come on, everybody, that's see that's me. Good. My eyes are open, and now I can see all that the Lord has done. Hallelujah. He is the source of such marvelous things, shines brighter than the sun. I will lift my voice and sing. Hallelujah to the King, the King of Kings. One more time, like corporate, that. corporate, corporate worship. Here we go. Our eyes are open and now we can see all that the Lord has done. He is the source of such marvelous things, shines brighter than the sun. We our hearts and sing Hallelujah to the King, the King of Kings. Hands. Oh, 
always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Your who our hearts always hunger for. I'm going to do one more with Mish. sing this song and then maybe you could take a break and maybe mom I'll will tell us what we, yeah you can feed We're Caleb not going but anywhere. this is a great great song you know every year Jenny and I go through the Bible well we don't go through the Bible we listen to somebody else going through the Bible and we go through the Bible with them 
but they're the ones leading us through it. It's called daily. Don't forget some rice upset. Okay, honey. Thank you. you got, uh, yes. Yes. That's perfect. Well, did you tell? Yes, he did. Yes, but we're going to do this song because it's so perfect for tonight. Perfect for tonight, but perfect actually for every night because one thing I have been learning in my older age is that God lives in eternity. We, if we're born anew, we are eternal beings. We are eternal. God is bringing his kingdom here. He's going to, you know, I, I'm not arguing about who goes up and who goes down and by when they do and they go before and they go after. I don't know about all that stuff. All I know is he's coming back here and he's bringing heaven to earth. Someday, not too long from now, heaven is coming down to earth. But in the meantime, we who know him, we have heaven in our hearts. And if you are blessed enough as we are to have friends like this and a home in a free country, in a free land, we have nothing to complain about. <laughs> All is good. We have struggles, we have trials. In this world, we have troubles. But he has overcome the world. And someday soon, it's all gonna be better. <laughs> we just have to hang on and wait and pray and watch and continue to know that we can rejoice every day of this year because we know that we live in the eternal love of our Father in heaven. And he's not going away and neither are we. From her first album, <laughs> Weight of Glory. Great album.
That's pretty. Sing a song for your husband. Okay. It's odd. I don't know if I'll do it correctly. You'll do it. But when we first started, we played this song, and it was. Uh, I was thinking about Josh and uh, his being a, a husband for my daughter Misha, and how. Um, well. How do I say this? That every uh, father wants to know that there's a man out there for his daughter. And um, I was just grateful that it's Joshua Hoyt and his beautiful family. But these young people, like Joshua and uh, those, all those young folks out there, they've got a fight on their hands. We have no idea what's going to be up ahead. We really don't. This song is taken from a, 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 a situation and a time and a place where there was a lot of fighting going on and a lot of trial, a lot of trouble, and a lot of hopes and a lot of dreams and a lot of sorrow but a lot of grace and goodness too. So I was thinking about this song today and so you probably know it. The heart of a father praying for a man who may just be the man for his daughter and this is what he prayed. God on I might have known if God had granted me a son. The summers die one by one. How soon they fly on and on. And I am. Like the sun I might have known If 
God had given me a son. The summers die one by one. How soon they fly on and on. And I am old and will be Give him peace, give him joy, he is young, he is only a boy, you can take, you can give. Let him be, let him live. If I die, let me die. Let him live, bring him home. That's all right. That's all right. No. Now this is a song for Diana B. Diana B. Bye, Sammy. Come on, Joshua. Put the hat on him and let him come say goodbye. Sammy's leaving. He's going to just say goodnight to everybody. This is Samuel, the second born. This is Joshua. Say hi, Joshua. Hi. Say bye-bye. Wave, Samuel. Samuel. Say hi to everybody. Tip your hat to everybody. <laughs> say hi to everybody. Say happy new year. Hi. Say happy new year. Say hi. He smiled and said hi. Yay. Samuel's going to bed. He's going to bring the new year in, in the bed. Do you have anything to say? No. Okay. And happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> well, another uh, thought about men and women getting married and all that stuff. We sang this at their wedding. And uh, you see the result, Samuel and Caleb. <laughs> so it worked. We're going to sing for a few more minutes, kids, and then we'll call it a night and wish you a happy new year. Are they enjoying it okay, even with my mistakes? I'm not apologizing because this year I'm not saying I'm sorry all the time, by the way. That's my, I don't have any resolutions, but I am resolved to not continually say I'm sorry. You know why? Because I've discovered the Lord has shown me it's not about me anyway. It's all about him and about you and about our time together. So why am I apologizing? It ain't about me, right? Right. <laughs> is this the little boy I can? Is <laughs> I'm sorry. There's too much going on. I know this. I know. I know. Oh golly, I'm getting confused with all the kids. I'll get this right. Is this the little girl I carry? Is this the little boy at play? I don't remember growing older when did they? When did she get to be? a beauty when did he grow to be so tall wasn't 
did yesterday when they were small. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly flow the day. Overnight to sunflowers blossoming, even as we gaze. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly fly the years, one season following another. With happiness and tears. Now is this little boy a bridegroom, and now is this little girl a bride? Under the canopy I see them side by side. Place the gold ring around her finger. Share the sweet wine and break the glass. Soon the full circle will have come. It will have come to pass. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly flow the day. Seedlings turn overnight to sunflowers. Blossoming even as we gaze Sunrise, sunset Sunrise, sunset Swiftly fly the years One season following another Laden with happiness and tears one season following another laden with happiness and And in you, Yeshua, we've no fear. Now I'm going to play a song the kind of, um, to, uh, that was a request from our friend Mary and Paul. Now they, now, they I, the Paul and Mary provided the decorations. Aren't they beautiful? And everybody helped set everything up tonight. We had a great time. It's just, we lo I love my decorations. They're, They're just beautiful set design, everybody. But uh, Mary mentioned this song and I think it's fitting. Because it's from from Moses, and um, what I wanted to say um, to add to what Jenny said is I've been thinking about this quite a bit. About um, I've been thinking about this phrase. Remember uh, when the founders signed the Declaration of Independence? They they said 
They, they called upon the protection of divine providence. Divine providence. You don't hear people talk about divine providence these days. It's kind of an old expression, but it was a beautiful expression that those, those found, founders of this nation, they said they called upon the protection of divine providence as they mutually pledged to each other their, their lives, their uh, their, their riches, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. That's an amazing thing. And that word providence is interesting because it's, it's, uh, it, it actually fits with what we're talking about, about seeing 2020 in 2023, about our eyes being opened to what the Lord's doing. If we can be open to what He's doing, then we can take our eyes off of ourselves. I'm telling you something. I'm telling you on this New Year's, there's nobody has a bigger problem with keeping his eyes on himself than I do. And the Lord is showing me, Marty, wrong way. Turn around, look the other way. Look at me, keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on what I'm doing. It's not about you, never has been. And so that's the divine providence. Providence is a beautiful word because it, it means provide, yes, that God is going to provide everything, but it comes from root words that means to see ahead, to see ahead. Remember when Abraham was bringing Isaac up to the mount and he said, the Lord will provide? Well, in Hebrew, it's Adonai Yireh, which means the Lord will see to it. Provision means the Lord will see to it because he sees ahead and he knows what you need and he knows what I need. So what we're called to do is live day by day. That's all he gives us. Give us this day our daily bread. Day by day, like that song from God's spell. Day by day, day by day. Oh dear Lord, three things I pray to see thee more clearly love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day. Well, this is how kind of Moses said it. Maybe you could sing it with us out there in uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram land. It goes like this, Psalm 90. Teach us, and maybe Misha will join me on it at a certain point. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days to be glad to rejoice in them. One more time. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Lord, teach us to number our days to be glad to rejoice in them. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in every generation day out and day in your love your grace sustains every living thing but like the grass these creatures you've made we grow soon to wither and fade then you'll say return O oh, children of men, so help us learn this lesson till then. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days to be glad to rejoice in them. Oh, how we love this time, this place, but 
It's not our destination. We struggle, we strive to run this race with all of the strength we can bring. Then in what is but the blink of an eye, we finish our years like a sigh. So help us now, Lord, show us how we can redeem days that pass like a dream and teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us to number our days to be glad, to be joyous in them. For a thousand years in your sight is merely a watch in the night. So before they all fly away, teach us to number our days. You know we're given to pride. We're unsatisfied, and still you provide such mercy. In light of our sin, how can we begin to thank you for placing your beauty within? Teach us to number our days that we may to rejoice in them for a thousand years in your sight is merely a watch in the night so before they all fly away teach us to number our days yes before Fly away, teach us to number our days. something you want to do, honey? Amen and amen. We probably do for such time as Misha, this. Misha, okay. Misha, can I tell you a song that has been on my heart? What? Hey, everybody, you still there? <laughs> I haven't practiced that, though. Wait, sing it. Wait, can you I sing it by I, yourself? I, I, I want to tell you something. It was going to Yeah, my, okay. I was going to say that, too. Mi Misha's well, going to play a song. Yeah, okay. Do you, it's I, so beautiful. Do you not want to do it? Can you play it? Play it? Yeah, I think I can. Okay. What key? D. Okay, kids. Or should I? Or should yeah, I set it up. Set it up. Should a little. I try to play it? No, let Dad play it. No, no, no. You play it. Go ahead and play it. She can play it. No, you play it. Okay. I'll play it. No, you play it. <laughs> Explain what it is. By the way, once again, if you all have to go, I just want to say we're we've not. Been, but we're not going to be much longer. I know. So don't I, keep telling them. Okay, to go. okay, okay. Everybody else is enjoying it. I want to say that. Are you going to sing? Romans 8 or Romans yes, 11? Yes, yes, yes. You're going to sing Romans yes. 11? Okay. What other songs do you have on your heart? Why? Well, going to sing yeah, yeah. For such a time as this. Where's well, Caleb? Is, is he gone? Album. Romans 11. Is Caleb gone? No, he's eating. Um, so Hi, everybody. I would like to... Yeah, set this up. Okay, I'll set this song up. By the way, this is an, this is an extra... Uh, this is a double portion of House of Worship tonight. So we're not used to doing this 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 amount of time. So I hope you're still it's enjoying it. It's the new year. It. it is the new year. Okay. And we're going to stay up and watch the ball drop. So, anyway. so this is a yes. song yes. from my new album that just came out in October. It's a called, great album. Thank you. It's called A Time for Everything. The album is called A Time for Everything. This song is called 
Vene Mar, and I wrote it based off a traditional Jewish prayer that they sing in synagogue. And I put my own little lyrics to it, and it's um, a great prayer. It's a declaration and of what? Of God's rule and reign over all the earth, and it's really looking to the time when he will come back to earth and and his name will be one and he will he will be head over all on you this earth. Kind of like dad was talking about earlier that really the thought of heaven and the promise of heaven is a great hope but the end of the story is God coming back to earth and bringing his kingdom. And specifically to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem and to the world. Yeah. So that's what this song is about. And mom asked me to sing it, and we've never done it. So you want to try to play it? Does dad know how to play it? Whisper the chords if I'm messing it up. Okay. Or unless you want to play. Last chance. No, you go ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Candle. That was beautiful. You no, know, I like. Do you want to sing another one? I'm gonna sing. Let's do this song, shall we? Well, I'm gonna do this one. And I want to show you something. By the way, in our assembly here, not only we do have the next president of the United States, uh, not the next president, but Joshua, the, who you just saw, he's going to be president of the United States one day. Do you so. want to say anything? Sure. Do you have anything to share with us? Tell them what you do and tell, tell them what's going on and tell them what's going on in your world. And I want to say before he comes, that um, if you would like to give to the House of Worship, then you can visit martygets.com and uh, it is a 501c3, so if you wanna make your final donations of the year and you wanna make them to Marty Gets Ministries, we would be blessed. My parents are not going anywhere, Lord willing. And so they love being with all y'all and, and broadcasting from their home and uh, seeing you all online. So continue to join them. And if you'd like to give, you can visit martygets.com and do that tonight before the year ends. And um, next Tuesday is my birthday. Yay! So, yeah. so we're not this Tuesday. Well, we this won't. Tuesday, Wait, I'll so be, be 32. Worship. So they will not be doing house of worship. I, I not even realize that. Because it is my birthday. <laughs> so I canceled it for them. And one more thing. Oh. Uh, it's about my birthday, which is in a little bit a while. The kids get the camera, honey. But my, on my, okay, stop talking, please. Talking on my you. birthday. Yes. Um. Quick. We, since it's going to be a house of worship day, because it's going to be on Tuesday. You're right. Tuesday. It'll also be on Tuesday. So, I won't have... They won't have House of Worship? House of uh, Worship. They said right, they right. would come to my house. Oh. March 21st. You, your house you know what? Go to our website, martygets.com. <laughs> and and if, you want, if you want to stay updated, visit the website. Quiet on the set. If you want to visit our website and sign up for their email list, I do keep you updated that way. So if you want to sign up for their email list, you'll be kept in the know. Okay, that's all I have to uh, say. We've told our, our friends here that they're free to move about the cabin. They're free to do whatever they want. If you, you feel free to do that. Too. But we're, we're just got a few more songs and we'll be closing up for the night. But Josh has, Josh works in Washington, D.C. <laughs> and why don't you tell them what your perspective on things? Well, I think I, I've been thinking about this new year too. I think for so many, 2022 has been an odd year because 2020 wasn't what we all hoped and 2021 wasn't either. And maybe 2022 wasn't either. And this world really seems to be spinning off into oblivion in a lot of ways. But for believers, our hope is in the hope of glory. And I've been thinking so often, I think as believers, we try to over-spiritualize God and we over-spiritualize Jesus. And if we read in the Gospel of John, we see his beloved disciple this, we, G, recounting the tales of Jesus and Jesus described himself as the bread of life and as the living water and as the tree of life and as the living vine. He described himself in such earthy terms. And I think in this new year, it's important that we in our prayer lives and in our walk with him, that we just connect with him, that we just commune with him, that we don't try to over-spiritualize, that we don't, we don't operate in shame or in condemnation about not walking too much in the things of the spirit, but we commune with God himself and he will promise to restore and to cleanse and to clarify and to make his will known here on this earth, to bring heaven to earth as Marty and Misha have described. So I just encourage you as, as you walk into this new year, enter just into an innocent, precious relationship with him. Love him and trust him like a son trusts his father. Be at one with him and be at peace with him. He is the bread of life. He is our sustenance. He is the water. He is our, our, our uh, restoration and our healing. Um, and that's sort of what I'm walking into 2023 with, is not an expectation of any earthly dreams fulfilled or um, any promises I make to myself, but rather just wanting to walk more intimately with Jesus, who is our bread and who is our water, who is our sustenance in our life. So 
don't worry about the natural world spinning off into oblivion. We're promised tribulation and trials, but just press into Jesus because he is our hope and he is our fulfillment and he is what is promised to us. That's what I've been thinking. That's beautiful. I love it, Josh. That, that is beautiful. beautiful. I can hear the applause. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes. Loves me this I know. Hold on. As he loved so long ago, taking children on his knee, saying, Let them come to me. Oh, everybody. Yes. Yes. Jesus loves me. Yes. Jesus loves me. Beside me on my way, wanting as a friend to give light and life to all who live. Oh, yes. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, yes. Jesus loves me. died heaven's gates to open wide he has washed away my sin let this little child come in for yes yes jesus loves me Yes, Jesus loves me. The Thank Bible you, Mimi. Tells me so. I love you, Mimi. Thank you. I sang okay, love. Jesus loves me still today. Walking with me all the way. Lord, you have bled and died for me and i will henceforth live for thee right reverend bill and miss june <laughs> yes everybody jesus loves me oh yes jesus loves me yes jesus loves me No? You don't think? Okay, okay. I'm going to uh, sing a song that I've sung a, a lot of times, but I we about have. Me. We make a song up about me. I now. could make it, not this second, because we're getting near the end of our Are you time. Sing Romans 11? Yes. But what we're going to. I'm going to sing. The, I, I have three more songs planned, and that's it. I make, I but make this, songs in like five seconds. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Well, in this room, we have such talented people. I'm just going to say it real quickly. Mary is a talented writer and musician in herself. Polly's a genius. We have an expression here, 
call Paul. Anything that has to be done, we call Paul. And he served our country in the military. We owe him thanks. Thank you for your service, Paul. And Andrea moved out here from California. She and I have written a lot of songs together. We, we did a, especially a CD we did called Intercessor. And I was actually working on a song today, but I I'm not confident that I have it perfect. So uh, we'll do it next time you're here. Uh, uh, we'll talk about it. Mom, let him keep going. She is it? What? And then, and then there's Celia. She's an artist and a writer and a guitar player herself. And over there in the corner, that's where I first met him, in the corner of the Vineyard Christian Fellowship. The two of us were standing against the wall, trembling with fright that we were around other people. And we're both, but little, uh, but, but he, he's an unsung hero. He won, he won, what year was it that you won the best, the Billboard Best Gospel Song of the Year? What year was it? Come on. 1988, a song under under the shadow of his wings, right? That was a song he wrote. One that, uh, shadow of your wings, best new, best gospel song on the Billboard charts. And amateur, he keeps saying amateur, but he's a professional. I want to show you something. This was our first cassette. It's called More Than the Watchman, and Nick Van Mart was the engineer on this album and he did a beautiful oh, job so if you want to hear that song you can get our live our, our uh, marty gets live in concert um dvd it's in there and it's also on our new album new newish album called scrapbook we have the original version of more than the watchman on that song on that album because not everybody buys dvd dvd so we put it on there too we just kind of move everything around so everybody can get it's like a smorgasbord here around here but anyway i'm going to play this song that he engineered and it's a beautiful arrangement and and a beautiful job of engineering i hope i sing it okay it's getting late and i need my tea so we're going to finish in a couple minutes Mm, 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 mm. But this is a call to all of us because that's what God has made us. He's made us watchmen on his walls. So if there's anything in your life that needs to get right, this is a good year to do it. But don't fall under condemnation. Don't think that God is mad at you. He's mad at me messing up my chords. Okay, now I'm set. There's a lot going on here tonight. My brain's a little, a little, a little tired, but I think we can make it to the end together. Did I leave you? Did you leave me? One of us wandered away. But now I need you to answer my plea. Though I don't know what I'm asking And I know even less What I expect you to say But more than the watchman For the morning More than the evening For the dawning I wait for you I wait for you. Oh, by now it's quite clear. I don't know wrong from right, and on goodness, I'm making no claim. But when you are here and we struggle all night, all I know is I let you go till you bless me and change my name for more than the watchman for the morning more than the evening for 
of the dawning I wait for you My soul waits for you I miss you so much I don't know what to do Don't you know that I love you Must I show you too Here is my mind for you to read, all I need is your touch, only one, only one, for you're the only one from whom I need forgiveness. Just one more time You're the only one Who had to bleed For my lack of understanding Take me back, take my hand In your way so sublime More than the watchman for the morning more than the evening For the dawning I'm blinking at the sun I'm staring at the moon Please come for me soon. Come on, hon. We're almost... We are almost finished, and we're going to sing a worship song that we all, I, I think we all know and love. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. What? What song do you love you? What? Okay, what? so I'm I'm in the dark. You're all in the dark. I'm in the light here what right now. What are you now. saying? Jesus, we love you. And what it's perfectly into this song. Jesus, we love you. Come for us soon. Oh. What are you saying? <laughs> Okay. Well, I think it's saying? obvious. Jesus, we love you. I don't know that. What song is this? I love you, I praise oh. you, I adore you. What song is that? That's what it's called. Jesus, we love you. We fight for you. We praise you. We adore you. Jesus, I love you. We praise you. We adore you. Glorify thy name in all the Father, we love you. Father, we love you.
for the piano player. Caleb, come here. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. I want Caleb to come here. Then we're going to, we are going to conclude after this. Caleb, I would like you to lead everybody in, in a, a prayer. In a prayer for Somebody, 20, you know, Caleb, for sometimes. 20, wait, wait, but let me just finish what I was saying. Dad has another idea. I know, but, but no. I just want to say what I was saying. I just want to say thank, thank you all. You guys, I can't believe we've been yeah. doing this for two years. Uh, yeah. And you are the greatest blessing in our lives. And from what I hear from you guys, we are a blessing in your lives too, which really, really is what is the greatest blessing in our lives. If we didn't hear from you, if you didn't tell us how much this means to you, we would probably just retire and, you know, sit in our beds all day long and do nothing. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, you guys, you inspire us to keep going and doing more. So if you're with us, even if you're not with us, we are with you. Okay, that That's didn't sound good. Okay, that, that was good. That was good. I'm going to let, let my seven-year-old grants. I, I am almost seven. Caleb, pray for 2023. Yeah. Pray for 2023. Wait, I, I, pray wait, for 20 I want you to pray. No. I want you to pray. We're going to close oh. after this, kids. Oh. I want you to pray for people's salvation, to That's receive like, yeah. Jesus, and to pray for the year ahead that people would know the Lord. Just go ahead. This so is your time. Look in that camera right there. Go ahead. Lord, I pray that if there are any people, which soon there won't be any people, if there are any people that don't believe in you, you'll just touch them and you'll you'll help them up to believing in you and no one and i pray that you make sure no one ever goes to hell again no one and no one will ever die because of your glory your power your love everything you have i love I pray that we'll have a good next year. I pray that all my friends are having a good new year. People I don't know are having a good new year. I pray that on Christmas Day, I pray that um, I pray that all the green boxes we sell from um, Operation Christmas, Operation Christmas Child. I pray all of them came there safely and those kids were surprised and loved who sent it. I pray and I praise that you're always with us. Amen. Amen. Yay. Okay. And, 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 and can I, uh, let me just say, my heart is so full hearing that from my little grandson. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Well, it's been an interesting night. Fun with our friends, fun with you. We won't be here Tuesday. We won't be here. Will we be here Friday, Jenny? Yes. We Friday. will be here next Friday for Shabbat. So um, also we won't be here the Tuesday of my birthday. Right. 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 We're going to close up. We hope the rest of your evening goes fabulously. This is a request from my son in love. And it's and on your new album. It's on our new album called Songs in Season and Out. And it's from Romans 11.36. It's, it's a, in the House of Worship series. It's the only one in the series, but hopefully there'll be more. And uh, this is based on Romans 11.36. After Paul, the apostle, talks about Israel and God's uh, providential wisdom and grace and foreknowledge and how he will one day save all Israel. But in the meantime, the Apostle Paul magnified his ministry to provoke to jealousy his own Jewish people, thus saving some of them. And we're thinking about all these things to say in 2023. Bend the knee in 2023, right, Jenny? Yeah. Bend the knee in 2023. What was the one you said tonight? Declare and decree in 2023. I also thought about, this is more personal for me, magnify our ministry in 2023. Why do I say that? Not for our sake or our glory, but for his glory and to provoke to jealousy maybe some of our kinsmen who could, so they could come to the Lord. And then I thought maybe it should just be eyes on thee in 2023 a little old english but you know what as i was getting ready for tonight i think it's simpler than that i think it's just see in 2023 see god wants ask for the lord to open your eyes to all he's doing so you can see his providential provision for you that it's all it's already finished it's already done we just have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and keep watching and keep waiting and keep being faithful it's not something i've always found easy to do matter of fact i've never found anything about walking with the lord easy but sometimes it's because i've depended on myself and not on the Lord who says, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, how deep are the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. And his ways, how unsearchable. And his judgments, as finding out. For who has known his mind? Who has been his counsel? From whom did he get all these things? They should be repaid, but of him, and through him, and to him, are all things of him, and through him, and to him, are all things. Oh, what love has our Father that He chose us to become like His Son? Now, behold, we are His children, still not knowing just what we should. 
shall be. But when he appears, when he comes in glory, when he is revealed, we know we shall be like him. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Smile upon you in 2023. And always and every day give you his shalom. Give you his peace. Now and forever and forever and forever. But when he appears, when he comes in glory, when he is revealed, we know that we shall be like him. household yours and mine would see in 2023 his providence divine his providence divine my friends his providence May we see in 2023, Lord, your providence
May the Lord, may the Lord bless and keep you. May his grace and his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you joining us tonight we love you you are our friends and our family and we don't know what we do without you so happy new year everybody you, you have your you have I'm your, not good at this there you go happy, happy new year <laughs> lord willing we'll see you on friday shalom to all y'all Happy New Year. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our eternal King and Lord. Amen and Amen. <laughs>